Well, come on then, you students, you tell us to occupy. Well, it's easy if you're jobless, but tell me why should I? You speak of revolution, what alternative do you suggest? And if it happened tomorrow, would you rise up to the test? Well, it may not be the solution, but it's a damn good place to start. Reopen a closed down library to win the community's heart. And if you're looking for a hard working bunch, well darn it, you needn't look any further than the folk in Flying Barney. There's residents and activists living side by side, working hard to stop the council sell off privatise. With safer spaces, policies, and trained volunteers on rota six days a week to keep the library for their peers. They've got music nights and cabarets and crazy techno DJs. Tolstoy and Marx are watching over from the grave. With tents in the back garden and matches on the floor, donated food and hoovers, what more could you ask for? Well, it may not be 10 Downing Street, but it's a damn good place to start. I'll occupy a threatened library to win the community's heart. And if you're looking for a good book to read, well, darn it, why not head on down and join the folk in Frying Barney? They talk about creating new jobs to kickstart the economy. Well, what use is a generation that can't even read? Well, we've lost our right to squat it, but the battle's still been won. The locals have kept the building, albeit volunteer run. The council may be cop-outs, but the real victory is the bridges built between us. We're one big family. Well, it may be big society, but it's a damn good place to start. Save your local library to win the community's heart. And if you're looking for a public reclamation, well done. Take some inspiration from the folk in Fry and Barnet.